Welcome to the Pulse of Spokane. Kent Adams here. It's the 18th of August. And if you haven't noticed, it's been a little bit warm the last few days, and it's going to be a little bit hot today. Weather is going to cover that in just a half minute or so, but I hope you're staying cool. I hope you're hydrating as much as you can and getting all the water and so forth. Watch out for the sweet things because they tend to counterbalance that. So not too much of the pop and so forth, uh, or even beers, I guess, or whatever. But but uh, be careful out there because uh, it, it can come along real fast and, and, and really make you sick. Um, we're going to have a great conversation today. My guest is from Ignite Northwest, and we'll talk about that right after this. Today, Spokane's weather is going to be mostly sunny with a high of 100, while this week's going to be pretty sunny. Tonight will be mostly clear with a low of 60. Coeur d'Alene's weather is going to be pretty sunny with a high of 94 and a low of 65. Cheney's weather looks to be mostly sunny with a high of 97 and a low of 60. What? You haven't been to the library lately? Stop in today and see that the library is more than books. Spokane County Library District facilities feature on-site technology, including Wi-Fi, computers, and printers, as well as free use of meeting rooms. The Library District offers events and programs for all ages, from story times to career development and employer classes to social security workshops. Our staff is well-trained and happy to help. Find out more about your library at scld.org. To help you be safe, Washington state law requires you to call 811 two full business days before you plan, for example, to dig, drill, plow, pull from, or pound anything into the ground. Be prepared to provide the operator with the correct address, cross street, and the description of your work. You must mark the dig area with white paint. The operator will inform you of the utilities notified of your impending excavation. Wait for all their marks. Be safe and dig with care. When building a home or considering a major remodel, who are you going to choose? The Spokane Home Builders Association is an organization that works to elevate professionalism in the residential construction industry. We promote, protect, and educate for our community, building our community one home at a time. We are the Spokane Home Builders Association. Hi, this is Kurt Stockwell with Well-Dressed Walrus. We are a local website design and development company here in Spokane. What we do is build beautiful, usable websites for local businesses. A website needs to be beautiful. It needs to be usable for your users, your customers, and yourself. Contact us anytime. We'd love to talk with you about your online marketing. Well, welcome. I'm pleased to invite Cindy Donahue. And I had to look down because I just told you what I might call you, and that's <laughs> Eleanor Donahue, who I think was in the, uh, what did I say? The uh, Father Knows, knows Best, best yes. or something like that. That goes back way before you were born, okay? Back in the black and white TV days, okay? That was pre-me. That was, yeah, I know. Anyway, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm, I'm feeling grateful that I'm here and get to talk with you. And well, you drew the short straw. Is that what happened? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, Ignite Spokane, Ignite Northwest. Mm -hmm. What is that? So Ignite is an accelerator for scalable startups, and we help fund, mentor, and enlighten entrepreneurs. So we're really an economic development organization, and our job is to help grow explosively growing startups in our region, and that way we have more mm -hmm. jobs. So really we're helping grow companies and grow jobs. Is that particularly challenging right now with all that's been going on the last six months? I think that innovation is as strong or maybe stronger than it's ever been. Um, and we were just granted a $2.2 .2 million grant from the CARES Act to start a new fund. So we have, on the funding side of things, we have two growth funds, a okay. technology growth fund, and then our emerging growth fund, which is new. Wow. So that's for startups who are not yet bankable, and they need to hire and grow and yeah. buy equipment in that way that they can expand and grow. So for us, it's actually been um, an interesting time for every Everyone, um, but but, but we're a fun still here. time. A fun time. You're really at that startup phase and get mm -hmm. to see and walk beside folks who have a good idea. 
but aren't sure how to get it to market. And right. They, because there's so many things in between, right? Right. Well, we're kind of after that phase. So we are at ideation and we help. Uh, we're part of the Mind to Market um, Pre-Seed yes. Community Fund. And so from that point forward is kind of where we step in. So we're really helping explosively growing companies or emerging companies that have a product or a service or a technology that can grow outside of our region. Okay. So, so um, they've, they've proven themselves a bit but now need to get to that, that really scale big, up really yeah. scale yeah, up yeah really yeah. scale up and so cool companies like gestalt diagnostics okay. um, which has taken pathology from the microscopes up onto the screen so faster time wow. um, for people to get results back um, you know odd jobbers which we were talking about earlier you yes. and I yes um, yes created by two students from Gonzaga so it is an exciting time to see some of these startups really start to expand yeah yeah um, what's the first question that so many of them come to you with um, how do I find funding? I mean, yeah. it's really... <laughs> that's what it comes down it to. It does come down to. Yes. And so that's why, um, the, like the Mind to Market Fund that I mentioned, mm -hmm. and Ignite has our revolving loan fund program. Um, so if they're not yet bankable, they can scale up. Mm -hmm. um, and there's also the Spokane Angel Alliance, which is run by our CEO, Tom Simpson, who you know. Right, um, right. And so those are all opportunities to get funding in order to grow their idea because entrepreneurs love, they're so attached to their idea, and yes. it's their baby. And they yes. they want to see it be able to, to reach other people. Yeah. And sometimes you have this, and I don't mean in a in a negative way, a narrow idea of a of a service or a product and so forth, but you don't understand I mean you understand how to build it and design it and mm -hmm. all of that, but then where it can go. Yes. What's possible. And right? and how do mm -hmm. you market it? Yeah. Okay, because yeah. I don't know how many times in my years of selling TV for a couple of stations in town and so forth, it was, well, I don't need to advertise. And yes, you have a nice store and everything, but how are people going to find out about it? Right, and that's what our mentoring yeah. program is for. So we have funding, and then the mentoring is to match up entrepreneurs with mentors who have done that. They're highly successful, yes. um, and so they can help give them advice. And we have a really cool program that I like. It's called First Pitch. So if you're about to pitch your idea for funding, then our mentors will sit in on a First Pitch program, and they'll give you constructive feedback and ask you questions like wow. that. How are you going to market? Or, or what if you went took your product and you put it in this avenue, yes. um, a different idea? And so what's possible, and how can it grow? Yeah. You know what I like about Spokane, and it really touches on just what you mentioned. In, yes, we're a city, we're a county, we're an area. We're still a small town, though, oh, yeah. that you can get to somebody that can help you, that oh, will yeah. listen to you, that will give you advice through at least maybe one person. Yep. And most of those people will say, yes, I can give you a couple hours and we'll sit down. Mm -hmm. How would you do that in an L.A. or a, a major metropolitan area? I know they have vehicles to do right. that. But here it's much more possible. So Tom Simpson, our CEO, yes. he has, offers office hours. So if someone has an idea for a startup or they have opportunities or obstacles they're facing, okay. they can sign up to meet with Tom and talk through and them. And he can go, you need to talk to Fred over here and Jane over here because right. they've been through kind of what you've been through mm -hmm. and can walk you. And walk you through, yeah. So that's and, another part and of And Jane and Fred will say yes. Right, yeah. So yeah. being able to help entrepreneurs, I mean, that's really our goal is we want yeah. to help people take their ideas and help them grow them into companies. That's our, that's our role. Yeah. And so, but my part of the job is really the enlightening side. So I get to produce, we have our Ignite Spotlight segments that yes. are spotlights on successful emerging companies here. Um, so that really is informing the community about what startups are here. Okay, give us one. That's um, so MedCurity. MedCurity helps. Yes. Yeah, you know about MedCurity. Yes. Um, they help with HIPAA uh, and deal yeah. with HIPAA. Yes. Um, Risk Lens, which has been around for about 10 years. So that's cybersecurity. Okay. Risk security. Um, sports scope video, e-tails. I mean, I've done so many of these cool yes. spotlights. And so it's really shining a light on the startups that are here and the jobs that they're offering and the yeah. interesting innovation they've created. Yeah. It's yeah. really, it's a pleasure. It's Tough fun. job. I know. I'm very, I'm very lucky. I feel yeah. very blessed, especially now with COVID, that I have a role where we're helping um, still further businesses and further innovation so people can keep moving forward. Because as we reopen things, mm -hmm. that's one thing. Some aren't going to reopen. We know that. that yeah. We've already unfortunately seen that. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to need some new jobs yep. and new opportunities and to be able to grow that here in Spokane. And I've, I've watched you guys and and, and the other organizations through, through the chamber and everything yeah. else over the, over the years. And that has been so important to expanding the opportunities out there for uh, 
jobs. Yep. That's what it comes down to. It does come down to that. Yeah. And it, it helps us all do better. The more high paying jobs we have here, the more students we, we retain, yes. the more people that come up with innovative ideas or move their companies here. So it yeah. really helps us all. Okay. So. Um, what else is going on with Ignite? I want, I want to say Spokane, but Ignite Northwest. Northwest, yes. yes. Bigger we, than Spokane. Yes, so we always have something going on. So we're writing on a website right now called IgniteMatch.Works, and okay. that will try to, to match um, startups and emerging companies with talent in the Pacific Northwest so okay. that we can bring the jobs to people that yeah. want them and need them. So that's a big project I'm working on right now. Yeah. Um, I, I hear there's some people wanting to come from Seattle to come over here, too. Just a Are few. You hairy? <laughs> and Portland and everywhere yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And... Rightfully so. The challenge is going to be, as you know, on the other side is housing issues. The balance between the traffic yes. and housing and bringing people yes. in. I know it's and it, like you said, we're a town and so yeah. we're a city and a town. So finding that balance between yeah. the two. Yeah. But I, I think back to and I was mentioning before we went on my son, who's uh, went into the Air Force and now is a civilian firefighter out at Fairchild. And I remember distinctly back during his junior high days. And it was, Dad, I'm going to have to go to Seattle or somewhere to get a job. Right, and not anymore, right? No, I mean, there's that's what cold, I mean. I know it's amazing. I'm like, There's a company called Cloud Engage that moved their whole company here from Portland. Oh, wow. And they have a really cool technology where if you look at a website, at the same time I look at a website, it will look different to you than to me in real time based on your preferences, your oh, habits. Oh, my gosh. It's amazing. Cool technologies that are here. Wow. Yeah, yes. very cool companies. Um, there's also continuous composites in Coeur d'Alene. And um, there's just so many cool innovations that yeah. I get to be around and promote. You need to start sending some of them to us. So we I can get them on okay yeah because i love these stories yeah I, I love these stories where i know we're gonna find from the last few months new products and services created because people were kind of forced to be home and so forth mm -hmm. in addition to the fact that i know on my block dozens of homes who have new roofs paint jobs sewer hookups and everything else because people are home and now they can watch over all that right but they've had time to think and be creative. Too. Yeah, that's where Spiceology comes in. So that's what I just was thinking about. Yes. Spiceology is another local startup, a great success story. Yes. And they've really pivoted from selling to chefs and restaurants to, yes. to people that are home. Um, and Chip Overstreet, we just did an Ignite Spotlight with him. And he talked about you could do chicken every night and have a different flavor for a month by just using Spiceology spices. So. In fact, Mac, last time he was on here, which I think might have been last fall, he was talking about that his market are restaurants and, and other suppliers. Yeah. And I read, what, a few weeks ago that they've really shifted. Yeah. You know, it's like, well, Ken, I really don't want the home thing we're doing. Our focus is here. And you have to focus. I get that. Mm -hmm. But when that goes away, how do you pivot, as you said? Right. And, and, and how are they doing? They're doing great. Oh, yeah. Good. And they're doing both. They're still working with chefs and restaurants. Oh, and, sure. and also, yeah, they're doing fantastic. They just were named um, Inc. Magazine's, I think, top 5,000 companies in the United States. Yes. And yeah. Along with Paw Print Genetics, also we, is on that list. We're going to do a program with somebody else that was mentioned, Mist, oh, here cool. in Spokane. So, that, after you, matter of fact. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. But isn't that. I'm sorry, I get excited over seeing success for for people out there with the small businesses and so forth. Especially with what's going on. It's nice, like yeah. you said, it's nice to have some light in the darkness. It's yeah. nice to have these success stories and people that are innovating and making things happen. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, any last word? How can people find out more about? Um, go to our website, ignitenorthwest.com, or follow okay. us on social media. And we have all kinds of webinars and Zoom events for now yeah, um, yeah. going Welcome on. To, yeah. yeah, right, the new world. But yeah, they can hook in that way and, and find us and follow us and support all these local entrepreneurs that are here. I got to ask. How familiar with Zoom were you before all of this? I became a Zoom expert in about a three-day period. I was not <laughs> at all familiar, but now I am. Me neither, okay. <laughs> and I asked that question, and probably half the people I asked that question of, yeah. I am now, I understand it completely. Yep. Yeah. That's how we're running our programs. So. No kidding. Hey, thanks for coming on. Thank I you, love Ken. what you're doing. Say hi to Tom. I will. Tell him he's gonna he's expected to come on one And of do these. a headstand on the table. Yes, I know. exactly. Okay, I'll tell okay. him that. All right, thanks a Thank lot. Thank you. Thanks for watching the Pulse of Spokane, everybody. Have a good day today.